in Gemini. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords. Okay, we are stressed about some. There is something that we know, we deeply know, we intuitively know. And, and we get stressed because it's something that is just not right. Um, High Priestess and the Six of Wands. Are we maybe... Um, I don't want to say too full of pride, but is it prideful? <laughs> no, is it a word, this one? Um, is it even a word? Um, but I feel that it's something that you know. It's something that stresses you out, but you are not talking about. Because you have a sense of pride. It's like, no, they might think that uh, I kind of hate I'm crazy. But, <laughs> you know, they might think that I'm um, unwell or something like that. You know, uh, stressing for nothing. Um... Six of Wands, Seven of Swords. So we block it. That's the universe saying you are blocking stuff because you are too stressed that people might judge you. Six of Wands, right? People might judge you. Six of Wands, Ten of Cups. I love this. Might be uh, a family you have with this person, but actually at the end of the day, we want peace of mind. We want blissful life. We want to be surrounded by people who love us. And probably a fire sign, Sagittarius. We do have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I know. We want the family back, right? We are stressed that we might lose maybe someone like forever kind of loss. But let's see. Six of Wands. Oh my God. I love this sense of victory following you around. I kind of feel, um, Gemini, that you are in warrior mode. Um, Six of Wands is the energy of the warrior who is coming back from the world like a winner. And then we have you, Knight of Swords, in attacking mode. It's like, I am going to fight for this and I am going to win it. If you are dealing with another air sign, well, they are in fighting mode. But a good fight, right? A good fight. A fight for victory. A fight for uh, Ten of Cups. Happiness and family and love. Um, we do have the Page of Cups. Five of um, Wands and the Chariot can be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and the Hermit. I love this for the energy. So Gemini, I would expect apology, success and moving forward over here. I would expect wisdom coming out of a situation that was very challenging on a personal level, on an emotional level with a, with a page of cups. And of course, if you are dealing with a Cancer or a Virgo, somebody here is struggling but still willing to apologize for whatever they've done because it has a sense of wisdom coming with it it has a sense of shining a light on a situation and the conclusion is that they want to be victorious we have twice we had the six of wands which is victory in minor arcana and now we have the, the chariot and it is success and moving forward. So there's a sense of winning, um, Gemini. And because we have the five of wands, I don't know if you are in a fighting mode with, with someone. And uh, the challenge is so big that you want the big victory, right? Um, it can be. But at the end of the day, and you know what? We know Major Akina about lessons and pieces of advice um, um, in tarot. So I kind of feel that, um, you know, um, for some of you actually being in a conflict, in a dynamic where uh, internal struggle and feeling sorry and emotional and fighting, um, you know, I don't say out of control fighting, but that's exactly what I'm guided to say, you know, but it's kind of, um, we have guidance here and one is wisdom and retreat and the other one is just letting go of this, moving on, moving forward. It has the energy of take the lesson that was meant there for us to take and um, and let's move on. So let's see the energy before we jump to conclusions over here. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and neutral. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and neutral. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and Metro. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Oh, it was a hell of a fight. I know, Gemini. It was a hell of a fight. A very painful fight. I would expect apologies, though. Somebody is giving a big thought, but it has also a sense of freedom, a sense of, I got what I needed to get. I, I am seeing it now. 
even with the hangman right bottom of the deck we have the hangman and um the hermit both energies of enlightenment right it was meant to bring something in our life it was meant for us to understand something unfortunately through pain because we were not really paying attention to the signs i know um so gemini so the hangman is yours um uh, because we have it in the past we do have the hangman and we do have the judgment um and it has the energy of a decision to break up a decision to have a, a pause in momentum right it looks like it's uh, being on your side but can also be because we have major arcana you might have had um you know that decision to cope with um and you had your time of introspection you had your time of thinking about you had your own struggles your your own quest to understand what happened it has a big uh, and we had the the hangman twice and the hermit so that is a uh, um i would say a thirst for quest says you call it how you want to call it i have all these words in, in my mind but it it has this energy of wanting to understand i want i want to understand why the decision it also has the energy gemini and if this is your energy i'm so proud of you because the judgment is the energy of renewal is the energy of a second chart of life a second chance but in a beautiful way it's, a, it's the energy of reinvention it's the energy of being completely new and changing all ways through wisdom and learning and observation and being um you know being attentive to your environment to what happened to the other person such a beautiful energy in the past um now this person of yours well maybe it was you saying no thank you and taking a break because we have them in explosive mode over here with the tower and the moon pisces energy well the world exploded and they don't know why right the moon is like i'm emotional i don't understand why i'm in the dark here and my whole world is in pieces <laughs> that's you know to put it short um and um i would I, uh, yeah i guess i i could say it was painful for both of you because you do have the ten of swords right now and they have they had in the past the tower but i kind of feel for you it's an enlightening moment it's an ascension moment it had to happen so that we we understand something beautiful right beautiful and you have a beautiful mind so this is how it, it all went down right for you it was like the sense of let me understand and a sense of reason for them it's it was very emotional and very explosive and um and uh their whole world went um you know but then gemini both of you you went to work uh we do have the eight of pentacles as mutual energies and the knight of pentacles taurus virgo to capricorn but it, this has the energy of dedication it has the energy of work of developing a skill um of work therapy my favorite <laughs> you know when we um, don't know how to cope and then we decide you know what i'm gonna keep myself busy and i kind of feel that both of you um that's what you did that's what they did it is also it has a sense of learning and going to school with the eight of pentacles but, but i kind of feel that stability and money were on your mind on their mind it was a way to escape um everything that happened um on your side gemini maybe uh, this created a business opportunity or a business idea or an opportunity to go and learn something it's a strong energy for someone um it was not for nothing that you know that that's the feeling and the energy of it it was it was not in vain right so where are we right now we do have the eight of cups and the ten of cups i love this because this is the energy of walking towards your happiness walking towards your blissful life disconnecting from something that is no longer good um hearing the universe calling you for an opportunity and the opportunity looks amazing emotionally enlightening and um emotionally nurturing it's also an ending of the ten of swords with the ten of cups which is the most rapid evolution right of a heartbreak and that's good um and i feel again it, it's eight of cups i know it's cups but it's the emotional withdrawal which is a mental decision so again I feel that you stay in your own energy over here and uh, you step back from something and you walk towards something that you know will bring you happiness and fun um, and joy. 
Now this person of yours, Gemini, they might be seeking um, counseling right now. We do have the star. We know it's about divine guidance and the four of cups. I'm not sure they are paying attention right now, but they are on a healing journey and it can mean anything. Honestly, it for me, it feels like they are seeking counsel, like, you know, to make sure they uh, move through it. Um, and uh, they reach the other side in a, in a more healthy way. I do believe they need it. And for some reason, I'm hearing legal advice. But it, that is, you know, <laughs> but it has a sense of guidance and counseling and um, taking time to understand and taking time to, to uh, find solutions to a situation, to align to whatever the plan is. So, but they need help for this because right now they are not happy with what's going on. And it has a, a it, it has an energy of I don't want to do anything, so I better pay to be done, to get it done, whatever that done is, right? Again, I'm hearing legal counsel, but you know better. Um, mutual energies between the two of you, three of wands with the three of cups. It has the energy of I wait to be happy. I wait um, for a moment where I can enjoy life, right? This is I wait for this to be over, to feel better, and then... Um, and then be happy again. It has a sense of you walk away from your own happiness. They are dealing with it through counseling and because it's way worse on, on their side. Um, it's kind of when this will be ready, I'll have fun. You know, that kind of energy. Honestly, fun can happen and like, you know, we don't have to, but we don't have to wait. We can have fun every day. So, um, Energy is coming your way or the outcome of this connection. We do have the Five of Pentacles, Gemini, and the Ace of Swords. And we know what this means, right? We live behind someone and we move with the clarity of vision, um, the information necessary, the communication, the contracts, whatever this is for you, Ace of Swords. We are moving on with the clarity of a light bulb, a clean one. <laughs> no, but it's, um, it's a beautiful, this is over, we have the Ten of Swords. And as the outcome, we have the Ace of Swords. So we know we live behind pain. Uh, we live behind struggle. We had our lesson, right, with the, um, the Hermit as the overall energy. We know what this is all about. We know. We know what this is all about. We had enough enlightenment. We saw the person for what he or she was. Um, and we know our happiness. We need to walk towards our happiness. Because it's not in the place where you are right now. Now for this person, the outcome, guess what? They do the same. You have the Eight of Cups right now. They have in the future as the outcome of, of your, of this connection. Uh, and it is Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. They walk away again for their own emotional balance. Somebody here walks away to take control over their emotional world, their feelings, their mind. Um, it's the destiny also calling them someplace else, but it's also just like you, the emotional withdrawal at this time. Mutual energies, uh, the outcome of this connection, we do have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. It has an energy of, yeah, it was a missed opportunity, but my stability was important. It's mutual energies, they feel the same, their stability is important. And they were so shook by whatever whatever happened between the two of you it started with a boom um needing counsel um at this point and needing to emotionally withdraw from something that actually um you know um made their world um fall apart they want happiness just like you right waiting for a happy moment with the three of cups waiting for celebrations, waiting for something to be over, waiting for easier energies at this time. There is no doubt, uh, Gemini, they have emotions for you. The bigger the explosion, the bigger the emotions. And Queen of Cups is the energy of of um, having mature love for you. Um, but it's also at this point and where this connection, I don't want to say ended, but how it was um, managed. Uh, somebody here needs to step back and 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 so so do you so let's see what the universe is guiding us to do gemini and of course the question is always should we say yay should we say nay 
So we do have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Kind of like the universe way saying that is a soulmate bond. Um, you know, that uh, transcends this lifetime. Absolutely, that was a wedding there. So we are, this situation involves a marriage. We do have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Calling in your soulmate, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Um, we do have release. I, I kind of feel I'm going to take it. Um, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, Gemini, you know what I hear? And of course, um, you got the, the message just like me, but maybe you understand something else. It's your situation. But I kind of feel you need to call them. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And then we have the release energy. Um, you know, one final conversation. Closure of some sort. Apologies. We do have the page of cups. We started with the energy of apologies uh, for fighting and uh, betrayal. So I do believe that that is um, there is a need there to have that tough conversation, um, heart to heart conversation, a very open conversation about what happened and um, about um, you know the understanding of a new beginning. You know, just closing that um, chapter in some way. Let's see what else. We have inner peace. Yeah. For your own sake, your own peace of mind, I do feel that the universe, you know, is kind of sending you the message. Come on, call them, have one last conversation, and then we release them. We do have love, inner peace and love, right? Staying at peace. We love them. We had, right, a, a, an amazing time. Um, and, um, and that's it. Then we... You know, it's nobody's fault that fault that we grow apart. So, and I kind of <clears throat> feel this is what happened here. Inner peace and love, right? It's kind of a conscious, um, a sense of uh, having a, a conscious at ease or consciousness at ease. We do have commitment. Yeah, that was love. That was commitment. But we also need peace of mind. We need a final conversation and we need to understand the compatibility. Probably there was none. We do have let your friends help you on compatibility. It's like, uh, might have been commitment, might have been love, but then we are not compatible. Bottom of the deck, love is all around you. Gemini, don't give up. That is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge it as truth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a loving connection you had with this person and that's why the universe is asking you to, uh, you know, if it, it, it's time to detach, it's time to manifest something new, it's time to uh, walk towards your happiness, but then that is just one last thing to do before you go. This is how I'm uh, receiving the messages today. And it is acknowledging the love, acknowledging the commitment, um, the past life relationship, right, the bond. A strong bond but then it's a matter of compatibility and it's a matter of peace of mind you know um so let's see the energies we want to put back into the flow gemini and we have ownership well we have inner peace and ownership taking responsibility for your own peace of mind um so you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons we have growth, wedding, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, love, and growth. Kind of like the universe saying, it was good for you, this connection. However, it ended probably in a, in a very sad way, in a very painful way. But it brought you to that stage of growth that you have. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I need to bring it back into the flow. We have surrender grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. We do have surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And bottom of the deck, surrender your need to always be right, um, Gemini. 
So give others the gift of letting them be right. Uh, be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflict and improve your relationship. I kind of feel that there was a conflict, five of wands, right? And now the universe is asking, you know, let's solve this conflict. We can, we can do better. We absolutely can do better. And let's have some general guidance. Um, usually it's career cards, but sometimes we get all types of energies. So let's see. And sometimes they fit the loving, uh, the love reading. Sorry. So let's see what else. I know. I know. Oh, we have teaching. You inspire young people to learn, Gemini. Maybe I'm picking up the energy of a, of a professor, of a teacher, of somebody, you know. Um, working in that field. Are you kidding me? We have school and we have teaching. Definitely I'm picking up the energy of a, of a teacher. So the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. And then you have you inspire young people to learn. And then we have innocence. Maybe you work with kids. Doesn't have to be school. Maybe some tutoring, some monitoring, some God knows what, um, whose energy I picked up. I hope you let me know. And we have innocence. I love this. So Gemini, it says, beloved one, everyone is um, guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may um, shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. I know. And we have ownership. We have grief. Um, so I kind of feel, right, that the universe is saying, well, if you feel guilty or angry or you are about to put blame on someone, how about you send it out into the universe and... Um, you know, make your heart easy. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. And you do have serendipity with one of the decks, right? So it's about time we have some peace of mind here, Gemini. That's what I'm hearing. And, um, and one last conversation. One last communication. So, hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.